finally done with exams. Hey, are we going to go to for counselling? This is a volleyball guy getting called in. Uh, I got that question wrong. I got the first freaking question wrong. Annoyed. Uh, I have to protect that teacher. Huh? Oh well. It's over. <laughs> How about you? Uh, I'm not worried about it. Oh yeah, I didn't think of that. <laughs> you really should. Anyways, can we hey. stop talking about the exams? Like it or not, they're gonna come back graded next week. Matter I'm on the screen there. Rather than focus on stuff that's over with. What are you looking at? The usual site. It's no use. There ain't any useful info. The number of posts are getting less and less, too. I am not letting this end as a one-hit wonder, okay? There's no point in getting antsy, though. I know. Why don't we go eat lunch somewhere? We still have some money left over from the other day. Uh. I want sushi, then. Or domestic-raised eel. We don't have that much left. Oh, right! There are those tickets to Matarame's exhibit. Wait, that's tomorrow. Don't tell me. Was it love at first sight with that Yusuke guy? It's not like that. Oh, of course not! When I was watching that special on TV, his artwork was pretty nice. Plus, we've got free tickets. Besides, this could also be related to what we heard in Mementos. Matarame, was it? Hmm, I'm curious too. Hmm. That aside, what should I do about the other two tickets? Wanna go appreciate some fine arts for once? Fine arts, huh? I suggest we should all go together. Appreciating the fine arts builds character. A phantom thief who can't identify an original is lame. Well, if everyone's going... It's settled then. It should be fun. Just the phrase going to an art exhibit sounds kind of mature. <laughs> Let's meet at the exhibit entrance tomorrow. I would have liked to have gone to the library, but semantics. Okay. Uh, so we can't go out. <sighs> Could he be talking about the famous artist, Madarame? Nice catch. Well, it is a pretty weird last name. Uh, you guys ever hear of someone else? I would so want to have called my character Madarame now. Just to see if they would change it. <laughs> uh, it is true. Studying under the equipped teacher. People like tools. Very terrible. We've got to look into this. Oh! Uh, we can increase our charm. I don't think we can leave. Nice. Could make tools. We do have some lock picks. Oh! Oh, excuse me. Ah, yawn. <laughs> Uh, saying that, I could read. Now then. I think we need to sit twice. Now then. No. Oh well. Let's watch the TV. Say, I want to see what other people do first. Red, brew coffee, make tools, watch DVD, studied. Uh, Yeah, let's increase our charm. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, you think I go out with her? What do I look like? What? You liar! You told me you loved me just last night. I I like the music. <laughs> uh, the show about young adults. 
uh, set in the ritzy upscale neighborhood of Bubbly Hills. Uh, it's about overseas <laughs> high schools that act like overseas. Nah, we're gonna do is alright. Hey, hey! I really felt the desperate need to be loved by someone. You learn a thing too about charm mm -hmm. by watching the jam. I love the music in the game, it's just so chill. Sunday! Oh, we're gonna miss our smoothie, maybe. Uh, what's this line for? Oh, the uh, exhibit might must be open today. Go back another time. I should take out a loan. What's that? Blah, 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 words. Failing to say them properly. Oh, excuse me. Just yawning every other day. Every other day, every other moment. <sighs> My body's just like, no. Brain even. So crowded. It'll be a pain in the ass if someone sees you, so don't stick your head out too much, alright? You came. Um, yeah. You really came. <laughs> What'd you expect when you left us those tickets? Make sure that you don't get in the way of the other visitors. Come now, I'll show you around. I'd like to speak more about the picture I'd like to draw, too. Well, see you guys later. Will Lady Hun be all right? What if he drags her behind some painting and tries something funny? I told you not to come out. Are we really gonna appreciate the fine arts? Can't we just go home? I want to stay. Fine. We did come all this way, so I guess I'll look around too. Uh, which way are we supposed to start? Hmm? It's that old man from the other day. We continue to be truly surprised by your imagination. You have such expansive styles. It's hard to believe that it all stems from one person. Where in the world does all your inspiration come from? Well, it is rather difficult to put into words. They naturally well up from within my heart, like bubbles rising one after another in the spring. Naturally, you say. What's important is to distance oneself from worldly desires, such as money and fame. My atelier is a modest shack, but it is more than enough to pursue true beauty. A shack? I see. So the act of emptying one's mind gives rise to inner beauty. Still, to think we could hear the word shack coming from the great artist Madarame. You would understand if you saw it. <laughs> Wasn't the word shack something? Madarame-san is actually here? Over there! I'm so glad I came on opening day. Oh! <laughs> Katie, hey, stop pushing! There's way too many people. I'm getting crushed. Yeah, that's fine. Anyways, we gotta head for the exit. Don't die on us, all right? I didn't know there were so many types of Japanese art. Usually, one concentrates on their own style. However, since he creates all this by himself, he's special. There you are, Yusuke. Sensei. Ah, the girl from yesterday. Are you enjoying the exhibit? I don't know how to put it into words, but it's really amazing. I do like the painting, like, center behind Yusuke right there. You're Pretty. sensing something from the artwork. That alone is enough to give us artists satisfaction. I hope this becomes a wonderful piece, Yusuke. Well then, if you'll excuse me. You'd imagine artists would be difficult to approach, but he seems really friendly. Indeed. Oh, this is it! The painting I wanted to see in person! This one? I guess it's the painter's anger? I'm not sure, but I sense this strong frustration from it. To think such a cheerful and gentlemanly person could make such a piece. <laughs> 
something wrong? Don't mind me. There are better pieces than this one. Come now, this way. Hmm. Hey! Ah, that old lady totally elbowed me. <laughs> Thanks to that, I remember now. About what? Well, let me get to it. It's about a post online. Also, admittedly, like, I didn't say more about Anne, because she can look after herself. Here, look at this. Why'd you leave without me? You got it all wrong. We got dragged into this huge crowd, and... Eh, anyways, you gotta look at this, too. This post might be about Madarame. What's it say? A master of the Japanese arts is plagiarizing his pupil's work. Only his public face is shown on TV. Plagiarizing? I didn't think much of it when I first saw it, but hearing Shaq and Madarame triggered it. His treatment of the pupils who live with him is awful. He teaches nothing and bosses them around. He treats them inhumanely, as if disciplining a dog. Abuse on top of plagiarism, hmm? If this is real, it'll be a huge scandal. I wonder if Kitagawa-kun posted this. I mean, he is a pupil of his. Who knows? It's anonymous and all. In that case, it's possible the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is referring to the same one. A man like that doing such a thing? I wonder if we can ask that shadow from earlier about this. Oh, actually, we just need to talk to him in reality. And how are we gonna go about that? Are we gonna explain it all, starting with Mementos? Besides, if we make a move out in the open, there's the possibility that Madarame will find out. Oh, yeah. Hey, what do you think about Madarame? Doesn't he seem suspicious? Oh, totally. I know, right? This all fits way too well to just be a coincidence. If this post is legit, ain't this the kind of target we've been waiting for? Well, yeah, but is it really true? By the way, what did you do about the whole modeling thing? Kitagawa-kun gave me his contact info, and the address to his sensei's atelier. He said he lives there, right? Perfect timing! Let's try going tomorrow. We're off to Madarame's house right after school. Huh? You want me to model tomorrow? This is too sudden! What? We're just gonna go talk to Kitagawa. Oh, that's what you meant. <laughs> Oh, on. Okay. Uh. Well then. Nice. Right, house plant is still going healthy. Hydro re relief pack, common mask. Ooh. A lot. That's a lot. I don't. Hey. Oh, I will also go out. Ah, this is where you read. Well, in that case, though, let's finish watching, um, Bubbly Hill. I, I still have feelings for you. Hmm. I guess if you're okay with the fact that I have a girlfriend, maybe we can work something out here. You can't date everybody has a girlfriend. Oh. 
90210. <laughs> hmm. Definitely need to go make sure I keep up to date with the library and uh, DVDs. Okay. Especially if we get more of these, we're unable to leave the cafe. Okay, right. let's get started. Any school counselor? That's the school. I can even talk outside of counselor now. I want to talk a little bit about uh, how mental health and perception can affect you. Don't worry. I don't want to stress you out or anything. Just relax and listen. How much do you guys know about the emotional mind? So, uh, see, what's going on in your mind can affect your body pretty significantly. This proof could even heal you, depending on your outlook. So, to that could. Any ideas? What's the phenomenon where being, believing in a treatment is enough to improve your condition? Oh, I know this and I can't think of it right now. Ah, uh, placebo. Placebo effect. This is it. That's right. Uh, some people specify the placebos don't actually have any con uh, curative prophecies. But even if the medicine does nothing chemically, it can affect your perception and help you feel better. On the other hand, if you don't trust the medicine to begin with, it might make you feel even worse. That's called nocebo. See, I knew about Placebo. Uh, Darren Brown did an awesome uh, mini-series on that as well. Fear Effect or something. Just one example. But my point is that our mind and bodies are more connected than we think. So it's important not to push yourself too hard. Remember, our minds need time to rest too. And it's my job to help with that. So come to the nurse's office whenever you're feeling down. Mind affects the body, huh? You think you could change back into human if I just believed hard enough? It's annoying because I feel like we've not had much chance to do anything <laughs> since the exams have started, right, in terms of out outside of school. Uh, great, gotta go and see it. Darling, maybe we should go to counselling. Uh, Get so explosive. Uh, have you gone to counseling yet? So it seems like the two things on people's mind in school is counseling and madame. Phantom thieves going by train. <laughs> this ain't any different from how I get home from school, you know. Uh, okay. The train is the fastest way to go. Plus, we can bring pets on here. Hey, who are you calling a pet? Dude, be quiet! We didn't pay the pet fare. I'm the one guiding you to your destination. You should be calling me Master. Um, are you? I'm pretty sure we're following on. Oh, kitty! Oh, shoot. Is that your pet, mister? I heard it meowing. It's just a creature. What's a creature? Isn't that a kitty? It's, um, a toy. It meows when you press on its head. You heard her. Press on its head. Ren. This is ridiculous. Meow. <laughs> again, again. <laughs> Time to button mash. Seriously? The next stop is Shibuya. Shibuya. Doors will open on the left side. Oh, this is our stop. Well, see you later. Bye bye. Uh huh. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot not do. So, which line do we got to transfer to? Doesn't look like there are any stations close by to that address. If 
anything, this is the closest station. What? And we gotta walk the rest of the way? What kind of phantom thief takes the train and then walks to their destination? Mm -hmm. fit one. Stop your complaining. It's supposedly a shack, but this is the neighborhood he lives in. As expected of a famous artist, looks like the fastest route is to get to the station square and then go to Central Street. Let's move. Oh. I, I, I didn't expect them to be following me. I don't know why. Hey. <sighs> Make me do stuff. Oh, didn't mean to. Hey. But lottery tickets. Hey. Ah, you guys suck. Wait. Um. Tsuguru Kamashita, former Olympian. Teacher at Shujin Academy. Reason for turning himself in is uh, a heavy conscience, huh? The human mind doesn't change that easily, let alone their natural temperament. <sighs> Shujin Academy. Seems doubtful. Perhaps I'll have someone look into it, just in case. Is that it? We're at the right address. The door plate does say Matarame. Uh, you ring the bell. Me? The walls won't collapse when I do, <laughs> will they? No one sneeze or we'll blow this house down, okay? Who is it? Sensei is currently. Um, it's Takamaki. I'll be right out. People really do live here. <laughs> Takamaki, sir. You two are here as well? So. Hey, sorry, but uh, we ain't here to talk about the modeling thing. There's something we gotta ask you. Is it true Matarame's plagiarizing stuff? He's abusing people too, yeah? Wow, way to just get straight into it. No, you know, chat or whatnot. Second verse, same as the first. <laughs> Are you serious? Also, how do you twitch online? This? <laughs> Preposterous! Not only is the plagiarism impossible, but abuse. Oh, thanks. He welcomes Much pupils appreciated. into his own home. This is no act of violence, it is charity. Yeah, no worries. And I'm the one residing here and studying under him. I'm saying it's not true, so it's beyond doubt. You might be lying about it. <laughs> yeah, I get you. That... That is utter rubbish. I had no family when Sensei took me in and raised me into what you see now. If you continue to ridicule the man I owe my life to, you will rue this day! Ooh, ooh. You really think that? Yusuke. What's the matter? I heard you yelling. You said the sensei wasn't in, and yet he is. You've already lied. These people are slandering you with baseless rumors. Forgive them, Yusuke. They must have heard some bad rumors and came in worry for their friend's safety. Understood, Sensei. Well, even I doubt that a cranky old man like myself could be liked by everyone. That's not what we meant. I'm sorry to have butt in on your conversation. However, I do have neighbors around. Won't you please keep it down? Now, if you'll excuse me. <clears throat> that was discourteous of me. I'm sorry. I know. I think you'll be able to believe in Sensei if you saw that painting. It's his maiden work, as well as his most representative piece. 
It's titled Sayuri. Sayuri? This was the painting that inspired me to become an artist. It's so beautiful. I don't know all this fine art stuff, but even I can tell that this is impressive. When I first saw you, I felt the same powerful emotion as when I saw this painting. Me? I wish to pursue beauty like this. And I believe drawing you will be part of that pursuit. I implore you, seriously consider my offer. I'm sorry that you took the time to come all this way, but I must assist Sensei today. I hope that we can discuss this further another time. If you'll excuse me then. Those two seem like nice guys, don't they? Maybe the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is a different person. Man, right when we thought we found a new target, too. How's the MetaNav? Oh, oh. Hey, the app. Was it picking up our conversation? This display. It means that Madarame has a palace, too, right? But why? Madarame, plagiarism, and then Shaq, huh? These seem to be the keywords. For real, though, what the hell's going on? Huh, I, f I feel like they've added a new layer, as in the extra word. Does an old man like him really have a palace? We have the person's name and the location. All that's left is the what that Madarame mistakes the shack for to enter his palace. You mean, like how Kamoshida thought the school was his castle? That's right. Let's try saying some things. They can be random guesses. Museum. It's a bit sudden, though. Why don't we start with castle? No candidates found. Then, Jacuzzi. what about prison? No candidates found. Ah, oh, what a pain. Jail, a warehouse, and guidance counseling office. Might as well add farm. I, I like the fact that he's going for it. No candidates found. Not a single hit. Should we come back another time? We'll just keep start listing off places. A building that's related to artists. If we think from there, what would it be? <laughs> An art supply store. Museum. Forgetting navigation? Whoa, really? the nav he surprised me didn't have much of a choice i think we just happened to get it right what if i hadn't noticed and then wandered off and got caught by an enemy yeah that'd be fine probably would have figured it out once he started walking on two legs <sighs> so even you can slip into the metaverse without realizing it morgana yes in a place with minimal cognitive distortion the differences can be subtle forget that look Hmm. That shack is seriously some kind of museum? Let's go check it out. It's so extravagant. To the point that it's gaudy. It's a museum, right? This is Matarame's? Well, a palace is a world formed by a mind twisted by desire. Remember Kamoshida's castle? Madarame's artwork is on display at museums in reality too, though. This exhibit was popular, and people already respect him. Why would he fantasize about a museum? You got a point. It ain't related to plagiarism or abuse, either. Let's try looking around. Racking our brains here won't do us any good. Right. That aside, ain't a museum a must for Phantom Thieves? Yeah. Now that's our Joker. I feel the same. But man, just look at that insane crowd. I mean, they did say that all the palaces, they wanted to design them in a way to be areas that Phantom Thieves, you, you would have heists in. <laughs> We're gonna have to wait for gigantic line. <sighs> Shall we go? 
Have a look around first. I mean, admittedly, I wouldn't mind getting into some combat. Get some money. Yep. How he thinks of the run down old shack. Overwhelmingly shiny. Uh, it's old guy's palace. Dash. I can feel it. Always have to go for the loot. Even when it doesn't look like there's any loot to get. <laughs> Also, we have to remember that this is going to be different. We're going to have to find the will seeds. Hey, I think we get in here? Get out this way. Now's my time to shine. I have rope. I'm a tool specialist after all. Let's do this. Also, we have the grappling hook. How suspicious. Almost eerily so. Oh. Hey, this. It's moving. Uh, freaking out. Over. Mm, this is. Bull's heart. Uh, we may want to check these paintings out. Focus. I also may want to steal all the things that I can. <laughs> Uh, someone's name and age? What the hell? Can't be right for a title of painting. Do you think it's the artist's name? Hmm. Hey, hey. Uh. I have something. Young. I'm pretty sure there's no actual. I say pretty sure. I'm quite confident there's no actual combat in this first day. Just more of a hey. Hey. Happy portrait. Ouch. <laughs> hey, this doesn't make any sense. Madarame is famous for having a variety of art styles, but all the portraits on display here look the same. This is way different from what was at the. Wait a sec. Ain't this that guy we saw in Mementos? It's amazing how you know, they could the, see the that. Who was shit talking Madarame? And they could see that, you know. When it was behind them. Matsuhiko Nakanohara. His name's written on the plaque. Dude, I don't get it. Why is there a painting of him in here? And more important, why is his name written under it? You're right. Doesn't art usually have, like, the title of the piece or the artist's name? Hmm, this is quite the mystery. All right, let's keep looking around for now. Hey, look. No. All right. Huh? Hey, isn't this a painting of that guy? No, I'm pretty sure it's not. It says Yusuke Kitagawa. There's no mistaking it. Huh? Wait a second. What do you think these paintings are? <laughs> His I think you're right. For real? All of them? But it was only Yusuke when we went to his place before. This must include former pupils as well. Only one remains now. 
Taking into account what that Nakanohara guy said earlier, things are getting clearer. All right, let's keep investigating. We need something to further confirm our deductions. I can feel it. That's some of loot. And a treasure chest? There's some sort of brochure here? Hmm? Uh... You say that. Oh, there's more here. Straw doll. Treasure chest spotted! Oh! Why we have the lockpicks? Ooh. Oh. Uh, not right now. Mm. Well, once again, I just want to see the stats. That's quite the 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 boost. Nice boost for the cat. Uh, this again, too detailed for a freaking palace. Why do you even bother making something like this? I'm going to take a look. I'm not even sure it's the location of the treasure. That's a possibility. At the very least, it should give us a good reference for the scale of this place. That's the museum. Uh, then the two out of two gotta be around here somewhere, right? Objectives confirming the condition. Uh, what we find. Focus. Yeah, kind of with Ryuji on this. But I get where Morgan's come from. Ah. Look at this. The Infinite Spring? A conglomerate work of art that the great director Madarame created with his own funds. These individuals must offer their ideas to the director for the rest of their lives. Those who cannot do so have no worth living? Hey, this is most likely about the plagiarism, right? Damn it, what a phony geezer. In other words, his pupils are his property. He doesn't even qualify as an artist if this is true. He's stealing the ideas from talented students in exchange for securing their livelihood. I wondered about those portraits on display. They must all be his pupils through his cognition. This even says that they have no worth. Couldn't this be about the abuse? Madarame will keep them around as long as they're useful to him. But the moment they're not... He's treating them like slaves or tools! Why is Yusuke keeping quiet about this? He's got no reason to cover this up! He did say that he owes Madarame his life for being taken in. But still... When we were at the exhibit, I praised one of the pieces on display. But... Kitagawa-kun acted strange. Maybe that piece was plagiarized too. What's the call? Ain't this enough to target Madarame? Oh yeah. Let's do this. That's what I'm talking about! Hold on, you two. We should confirm these facts with Yusuke once more. Confirm what, though? It means we should get solid evidence that such crimes actually took place. What a pain in the ass. He makes sense. Besides, there's too much we don't know about Madarame yet. Mm, you're right. I'll try contacting Kitagawa-kun. I might be able to get the truth out of him if I accept his modeling offer. Wait, you're gonna do that? You all better come with me, okay? I'm scared to go alone. Famous, renowned artist, huh? Oh, this might be tougher than Kamoshida. Well, we'll just prep ourselves until we get confirmation from Yusuke. This is our first mission as real phantom thieves. We're gonna succeed no matter what. Well, at least he's optimistic. <laughs> Uh, it's the truth, huh? Do you really forgive someone uh, unconditionally if you owe them life to them? I'm not so sure anymore. 
Let me bring this up for according to Kitaro Kun's uh Kun, Mother Armor isn't a problem. Something wrong? Yeah, a little. I mean, I know Mother Armor is a bad person, but still. Maybe I'm so hesitant because I haven't actually met any of his victims. But we have. Uh I might be an extreme line this might be an extreme line of thinking. But if an evil person isn't causing any trouble now, is there really any point in step uh, us stepping in? Uh, decide if Mado is worth going after or not. I don't know. If it were me, I'd never forgive that bastard. Let's see how Yusuke feels. Uh, Let's go to bed. Can't even do anything. Nice. Grr. I should write something. At least we could save. What's gonna stop me from doing that, you stupid cat? <laughs> well then. Although it is annoying they've changed the line. You could have at least kept that the same. Hey, it's me. What's up? I just can't forgive Matarame, but what Aunt said made me think. To Yusuke, are we just a bunch of thugs? I don't know. You don't know either, huh? It ain't like he thinks it is. It pisses me off just thinking about it. Good people have to put up with so much crap while, while shitty adults do whatever they want. Makes me sick. I, I'm not wrong, am I? We'll take them down. Oh yeah. Don't tell on I called you, by the way. Uh seriously. Well, see you tomorrow. I'm a chef shifter. Chain down to my core. Please don't take off. Man, the music is so chill in this game. <laughs> Man, how much do these guys need to talk to each other about the same thing? Uh, about modeling for him. Still waiting for his response, thanks. We have no idea uh, what I'm supposed to do as a model, though. Don't do anything. No, in a way, you might just be right. <laughs> yeah, you just don't move. Uh, you don't go go through uh, go all out of this. You're only doing it so you can get dirt on my mama, Remember? It sounds like uh, Kitagai. Uh, Kun wants to do this in a private, to be a private picture of his though. Uh, when he contacts me again. I got a response from Kitagawa Kun. He said he wants me to come over after school today. Perfect. Probably dropped all his plans just to get you over there. We need to find out from Kitagawa-kun if what we saw in the palace was true. Hey, quiet down. It's that student council president. Yikes. She got all the Mishima today? It'd suck if she noticed us. Come on, let's split up. Okay, see you later. <laughs> Finally landed a big target. Come on, let's get some dirt on Matarame. But man, Han's late. Sorry, I was thinking about some things and didn't notice how much time had passed. Thinking about what? Don't you think Kitagawa-kun has to be protecting Matarame? I mean, they live together, so he'd have to be aware of Matarame's true nature. The only reason I can think of him doing that is that Matarame has something on him. Yeah, that's weird. But that's why we're going to check it out, right? You ready to be a model? Yeah, I'm prepared. What do you mean prepared? Prepared for what? Something seemed different about her to you? Did she cut bangs? Oh, nice eye. I didn't cut them. Huh. Well, let's get going. <laughs> we gotta talk to Yusuke. 
Kitagawa-kun seemed really happy when I agreed to be his model. Once he finishes drawing and gets a little friendlier, we should bring up Madarame. I thought it would just be you coming, Takamaki-san. Wouldn't you get nervous too, if it was just the two of us? We're here to keep an eye on you, so uh, don't try anything perverted, okay? Stop making such odd assumptions. I have absolutely no interest in her as someone of the opposite sex. Huh? Is there a problem? No, not really. Well then, let's get started. Hey! Kitagawa-kun? Hmm... You hear her? Hmm. It's no use. This isn't what we planned. We were gonna catch him off guard and make him spill his beans, weren't we? How were we supposed to know this was gonna happen? Guess we just gotta wait till he's done. What an effing pain in the ass. Perhaps I should try going outside this room. Don't get caught. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? A moving bag. This is too boring, so I'm going to scout around a bit. It's weird how flashy that door is. And is that a lock? A door with a hefty lock. What could be in there? <sighs> Are you done? It's no good. What? I'm sorry. Am I the problem? No, not at all. It's just... I'm having trouble staying focused today. I'm sorry, but we'll have to resume this another time. Oh, hell no! How many hours do you think you made us wait? I'm sorry. We had another reason for seeing you today. It's about those rumors regarding your sensei. This again. And that painting I saw at the exhibit. You're the one who actually painted it, right? You're just too blunt sometimes. That's... I knew it. Your sensei seriously messed up. He just thinks of his pupils as tools. That's why he doesn't give a damn whether he steals their work or physically beats them. I'll make this clear. There's no point in hiding stuff from us. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. You couldn't go against him, could you? I'm sure we can help you out, though. Stop it. It's just as you all say. We're our sensei's artwork. Don't misunderstand me, though. I offered my ideas to him myself. As such, it can't be called plagiarism. Sensei is simply suffering from artist's block right now. Dude, still! <sighs> Kitagawa-kun? Then why are you sticking around? All his other pupils ran away. Aren't you the only one left? What's wrong with a pupil helping out his master? There are no victims here. Stop pushing your self-centered righteousness on me. Oh. And the other pupils? I'm supporting Sensei as his pupil. Where's the wrong in that? Don't ever come here again. If you do, I'll sue you for causing a disturbance. Hold it! We're not done talking here! Then you leave me with no choice. Hey! I'm reporting you to the police. I asked Hakamaki-san to be my model today, but I don't recall ever calling you two here. What the F, man? Yuji, stop it! Calm down, okay? Damn it! I won't report you, but only under one condition. What's that? I want you to continue being my model, Takamaki-san. This is all because Yuji just has no... 
communication skills. <laughs> but you said that it wasn't working out today. That's because I was unconsciously being modest for your sake. However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you are willing to bear everything to me, I will put my heart and soul into creating the best nude painting ever. What? Nude? Ah, uh, to think I'd be able to create a nude painting with my most ideal model. Of course, you two won't be allowed in, and I ask that you forget about our discussion today as well. If I don't submit a new piece to Sensei soon, there will be some... inconveniences. Nude? Meaning it'll be without any clothes, right? Why are things suddenly escalating like that? Because those are my terms. But that's... Wait, ain't that bad? Sensei is out during the afternoon while the art exhibit is on, so I can use this place freely. I should buy more art supplies. Will you give me a second here? Uh, of course. I'm willing to wait. I'll make time according to your plans, but please come before the exhibit ends. No, that's not what I mean! Why are you not listening? Sensei will be returning home soon. We're done for today. Takamaki-san, I'll be waiting for you to contact me. No, no, no! We are not done talking here! Hey, what should we do? We have to leave. Yeah, damn it. He got us good this time. Don't give up so easily! Huh? Is she done being a model? A cat? Moron. 